What the? Vegetables. Vegetables. <laughs> Hello, this is Mike E. Mike. And this is Main Matt. And today we're going to take you guys through some stretching and meditation. Oh, joy. Matt, come on, you promised. Alright, just as long as I can get my wrestling. Fine, you can watch your wrestling after. God. Okay, so stretching, really important, really beneficial. It strengthens your muscles, but by lengthening them and working on your range of motion, it helps your different body parts work together as a unit. You know, flexibility is obviously very important, and stretching is what you do to get flexible. Just like doing push-ups is what you do to get better at doing push-ups. Shitting every day is what you do to be regular. Um, I'm sorry I said that. Anyway, meditation is the same thing, but for your brain. Cleans it out, clears off all of the negativity that you're holding on to, um, and, and just gives you a chance to wipe it clean. Uh, people do meditation on a daily basis to deal with things like anxiety, depression, stress at work, having your mother-in-law over, uh, someone else eating the, the last brownie, driving in the GTA, all of the shit in your life that you didn't realize you were holding on to, it just lets it go. Right, Matt? Meditation a day keeps the psychiatrist away. Okay. Right. Let's get started. <laughs> So we're going to start with the neck here. We're going to start just loosening up the neck here. I want you to look down. Breathe in and look down and just try to bend it all from the neck. Okay, breathe in. Now very gently up and back. Try to stretch it all the way up your body. Good. Okay, back to the middle. Breathe in and out to the side. Generally what we do is you breathe in while you, while you get ready to stretch. Other side. And then while you're doing the stretch itself, you breathe out. Good. Okay, we're now going to do assisted neck stretching. Hand on the top of your head. Gently pull your head down to the opposite shoulder. Feel that stretch right in here. Just feel it lengthening. Other side, breathe in. And, oh, just stretch it to the other side. Just really, you want more neck than, oh, who's a celebrity with a lot of neck? I don't know. Oh. Breathe uh, back to the middle. Breathe in and back. For the back, be very gentle. Put your hand under your chin and push it back as far as it goes. And back to the middle. Hands on your head like you're ashamed. Breathe in and pull your head gently down. Really feel that in the back of your neck, top of your spine. Good. Back to middle. We're going to just do some rolls. Roll it around. Rolling around the Christmas tree. Trying to get the full range of motion. Nice and relaxed. Other way. Roll it around. Roll, just roll it and stuff, guys. Just, really just like a champagne bubble. Roll it like a champagne bubble. I didn't know people did that. I uh, have no idea either. Shoulders. Okay, ready? Just jiggle them like your Nicki Minaj. Loosen them up a bit. We're going to lift them up to try to touch your ears. If you can wiggle your ears, try to tickle your shoulders with them. If you can do that, you should be on Ripley's Believe It or Not. Breathe in and push them down. <sighs> Feel them sink down like the floor is pulling you. Forget oh. the ceiling can't hold us. The floor is pulling your shoulders. Breathe in and pull them to the front. <sighs> Try to touch those nipples together, guys. Mm -hmm. If you can rub your nipples with each other, then you don't need anybody else. Ah. Okay, breathe in. And to the back, just pull those shoulder blades together. Feel them just... Pulling, you want to pull, feel that across the chest. Ooh, and in the lower back, you know, breasts out for the for the girls, men. Breasts out for the girls. Okay, good. We're gonna roll them around. Just 
really feel that range of motion to the front. Mm. Really stretch that out to the back. Just again, full range of motion. If you get your core involved, that's never a bad thing. Just feel that range of motion as much as you can. Oh, beautiful. Okay, arms, stretch out your arms. Feel you, your energy going into your extremities. Give your fingers a wiggle. Matt, can you, Matt, can you move slightly that Fuck way? Fuck you. Yeah, I'm in a wheelchair. You've got legs, you move. Well, your chair has wheels, well, so just, you can move it easier. You know, tell you what, get over there now. Okay, so our arms are out. We're wiggling our fingers. You're just going to have your palms up. Start doing circles to the back. Try to keep your elbows straight because you're just doing this to loosen up the shoulder. Feel that stretch. Get your core engaged if you want. Good. To the front, hands down. Start rolling small circles to the front like you're an eagle. You're Icarus. Oh no, your wings are melting. Flap faster. They get bigger. Okay. Okay, relax. Good. Feeling nice and loose. All right, next we're going to do sort of your hands are alternating circles in front of your body. Try to feel it come from the core as much as you can. The circles get bigger. Big, big, wide circles. And one of them shoots up to the ceiling. Oh. oh, try to touch that ceiling like the ceiling can't hold us. Put your other hand towards the flow like Nicki Minaj's booty and just oh, yeah. feel that stretch. Ugh. Okay, relax. Top hand's going to stay up there. Bend the elbow. This old faith will reach across. Grab your hand if you can't reach your elbow or whatever. And pull that elbow down behind your head. And while you're trying to do that, try to pull it so that you're twisting the side of it, feel it in the side as well as the back. Good, all right, doing circles again. Just loosen it up, jiggle it around. Get those circles bigger, wider, try to use the whole arm. And arm goes up to the ceiling, shoot that up like a rocket. Other hand down to the floor, like yesterday's leftovers. If you oh, have a dog yeah. and you feed your dog the leftovers and feel that stretch. My dog eats diarrhea. That's disgusting. Okay, and bend your elbow and pull it down behind your head. And again, down into the sides so you feel that stretch in your sides as well. Just feel that stretch. Yeah. All right, good. Relax. We're going to do the old faithful arm across the body. Throw that arm across your body. Other hand grabs your shoulder or your wrist or your hand, whatever you can grab. Pull that across so you're stretching the shoulder. And when that stretch is good, breathe in and look the other way. How oh, you can feel it in the neck and the spine. Ugh. Twisted like a pretzel. All right, arms out, open up the chest. Loosen it up a bit, switch arms. Goes across the chest, pull that. Crank that shoulder, boy. And then look the other way. So you can feel that in your spine and in your neck. Try to keep everything relaxed so that you can focus on the movimento. Mm. Mm. All right, good, good. All right, we're going to do the bow and arrow now. It's mm. my favorite. Legolas, there's an orc over there. Oh, no, draw thy bow. Draw that bow. Mm. And just really feel your el back elbow pulling. Your front hand is pushing out to the front. <sighs> really feel that in the arm and across the chest. Mm. And then your back elbow is going to roll over so you can stretch your side. <sighs> roll that over. Mm. Mm. Like a car. I hope you were wearing your seatbelt. Other side. Loosen it up a bit. And, oh no, there's an orc on the other side. Draw thy bow, Legolas. <sighs> Again, the chest, the arm. Really feel that. <sighs> feel that across the chest. And then your back elbow is going to roll right over. Feel that stretch in here and in your back. Just pull that across. Mm. 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 So good. All right, we're going to do a little bit of wrist work here. Put your hand out. Gently pull the wrist back. Mm. Like you're giving someone a face palm to mm. that face. All right, pull the hand, pull it down. This Ooh. be gentle here. You so, can hurt yourself. Sounds like wrist crispies. Ugh. I don't even ask anymore. Okay, pull it to the middle here and just give a little twist. Just twist around and, and then just sort of push it out. Just feel it around. Just give the wrist a little roll. You want to keep your wrists loose. We use, we use our hands a lot. I think we take them for granted. I mean, my hand is my own best friend. 
Oh, I know. Doubles as a girlfriend as well. Other hand out, pull that palm back. Pull it back, hand out, pull it down gently. Twist it in on the inside, feel that twist each way. Okay, and just give it some rolls. Keep it loose. All right, we're now gonna do the same thing with our spine, get ready. Hand goes on the opposite knee. You wanna cross that. Other hand goes behind you or, you know, on a, on your wheel or if you're in a wheelchair, whatever, you know, on the back of your rolling chair if you're at the office. Breathe in, twist everything to the back. And while you're, Jesus. That's not Jesus. I mean that. Oh, well, okay. While you're back there, look to the front so that you can feel that twisting in the neck as well. And try to look up. Uh, all right. And other side, loosen it up, hand across the body, other hand to the back, breathe in and twist around, twist and shout, oh! I know that was terrible, I'm sorry. And look to the front, over the other shoulder, and up, uh, uh. Beautiful, all right, we're feeling loose. We're gonna do one more, this is my favorite stretch, you see it in yoga and it's called the eight directions. I'm just gonna get behind that to do this, okay? But don't try nothing funny. Like what? You remember last time, I do. Okay, so the eight directions, what we're gonna do is when you breathe in, you pull in your energy, pull it into your core, and then when you breathe out, you're gonna push everything you have to the side. You're gonna feel it in your body and your arms like your, your hands are pulling you in that direction, okay? We're gonna do eight directions, cause that's just what people do. Me and Matt, are you ready? Oh, hell yeah. That's what I like to hear. Breathe in. And everything to one side. One arm goes over your head, and just feel everything stretch that side. Stretch everything you have to that side, and hold it. Good, breathe back in, pull yourself in. Other side, everything you have. And again, that arm is stretching you, your hands are pulling your core to the side. Ah, oh. oh, baby, good. Breathe in. This time we're gonna go to the back corner, so your top hand is gonna go in front of your face and to the back, feel oh. that twist you around, stretch that, hold oh. that. Good, back in, breathe in. Other back corner, push it out. Twist around, feel that twist, feel those hands twisting your core into it. Feel that, good, in, top front corner there, and out, and this time you're pulling forward as well as to the side, breathe in, other front corner, go, again to the front and out, feel, feel your hands pulling your body, oh, feel the crack, oh, I felt that crack, I felt that crack very thoroughly, breathe in, now we're gonna go down to the bottom. Everything you have to the flow, go! Speaking of crack. Ooh. Pull it down, feel it go down. Everything pushes down. The ground is your friend. Mm. In. We're gonna go up top into the back, go. Push everything up. Like you're calling Vesuvius. Nothing speaks to me. And let your hands come down. Breathe in, one more time to the bottom. <sighs> everything down, everything to the ground. And then breathe in, pull that ground energy in. And push it to the ceiling. <sighs> push it up as high as you can, hold that. <sighs> and then let your hands come around, make a big circle to the back. Really open up those shoulders. We're gonna breathe in one more time. Relax, relax it out. Okay, folks. Well, I'm ready. And I know me and Matt is ready. Because oh. I just checked. Well, better be zipped up, son. These pants don't have a zipper. Let's get meditating. Okay, so let's get started here, guys. So find yourself a quiet spot. If you're not in a quiet spot, like your office, while you should be actually doing work, then maybe put your headphones in. No one will notice that your eyes are closed, though. That's cool. It happens all the time. 
So, um, yeah, usually I like to put my hands on my knees or my hips, something like this, so that everything's relaxed. The way that you generally want to sit is as if there's a thread at the crown of your head pulling everything up so that everything is sort of upright on this line. Maybe lean back, relax, have it upright. And everything off of that line is just relaxed, just sloping to the side. No tension, let it all out. And uh, yeah, try to keep the chest high so that the breathing will come from your stomach moving in and out. So breathe in, your stomach fills up with air, and then breathe out, you push the air out. That way you're using the diaphragm. This is known as buki breathing, and it's uh, the way to go for meditation. Most people have their mouth slightly open there and uh, breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Hey, that's personal preference, baby. Okay, so if you're uh, watching this purely for entertainment value or uh, it's your first time, feel free to keep your eyes open. But uh, if you're doing this to meditate with us, then uh, let's close our eyes, folks. And as you close your eyes, try to shift your perspective from focusing on your eyes or any one thing so that you sort of relax focusing on anything and open up the awareness to be aware of everything around you, the stimulus in your ears, the feeling of your skin. We're going to start with sort of letting your focus drift to your face, feel your eyes relax your jaw relax, your cheeks relax, the lines on your forehead relax. Just let all the tension just drain right out of your face. And then move to the, the place where the back of your neck meets your head. Focus your uh, awareness on that part of your neck and just let the tension fade out. Drain away as if you let go of whatever was holding it and it just falls out towards the floor. And then move that awareness down your neck. Relax the rest of your neck. Move it down into your shoulders. Feel those shoulder muscles relax like someone's pushing them with your fingers to give you a shoulder massage. Feel that relaxation move down into your shoulder blades. And from there into your arms. Become aware of your biceps, your triceps, your elbow. Let your mind rest in your arms and then let the tension out so they can move them if you wanted to. Go into your forearm and up to your wrist. Just fill your body with your psychological awareness of that body part. And then let the tension fall out of your wrist and your forearm. Focus on your hands, your palms, every joint of every finger. Let your mind rest in, in your hands and then gradually let all of the tension out of them. And then pull back through your arms, back up to the base of your neck. Take a deep breath in and breathe out. Start to focus on your breathing, in and out, really slow, really relaxed. And again, from the diaphragm. And then let that relaxation and awareness Trickle down into your chest, down into your solar plexus where your pectoral muscles meet your abs, down into your stomach and your back, down the spine. Just feel your brain gradually travel through your whole body and down the spine to the base of your spine as far down as you can push that awareness, as far down as you can try to feel with your mind and then let everything relax. And now that everything has been relaxed, legs if you can feel them as well, move into your legs or as low as you can go and relax them. Now we're just going to focus on the breathing, just breathing in and breathing out. And as you breathe in and out, as you breathe in, feel the energy pull into your core. And as you breathe out, feel your awareness pushing out into the rest of your body. Relax your brain. No need to focus on anything. And breathe in and out. If a thought comes in, that's fine. Look at it, let it go. Nothing wrong with thoughts, but don't have to hold on to them. Just let them go and focus on that breathing. 
in and out. And now as you quiet down your body, you should be able to feel your heart beating. Relax your body. Keep breathing slowly until you can feel your heart beating in your chest. Feel that rhythm, feel that rhythm pulsing in your chest. And then feel that rhythm pulsing into your arms and your hands. Feel that rhythm pulsing up into your face and your head. Then feel your heartbeat down by the base of your spine or in your legs as low as you can go. Feel your heart pushing the blood and pumping through every part of your body so that all you're focusing on is your heartbeat and on breathing in and out nice and slowly. And again, if any tension has crept back in, just let it all go. As you breathe out with all the tension, just flow right out of your body and towards the ground until there's no tension left in your body. And we're going to put that awareness back into the base as far down as you can focus on or at the base of your spine. And you're going to picture a small red glowing ball just spinning or glowing or made of light or pulsing with your heartbeat and it's at the base of your spine. And as you breathe in, feel the energy fill into your body and go into that ball. And as you breathe out, feel the energy glowing or pulsing out of that glowing red ball and the color is red. Focus on that ball at the base of your spine and the color is red. Feel it filling with energy and then glowing with that energy as you breathe out. This is the Dantian chakra, it is the base of all your chakras. Feel that red energy pushing out and glowing into your whole body. Now we're going to move your awareness up a little bit to just behind your belly button. On the line of your spine, but at the level of your belly button, the color is now orange. As you breathe in, feel the energy fill that orange ball with energy. It's spinning, it's pulsing. And as you breathe out, feel it glow with that orange energy as it pulses to the same beat as your heart. Breathing in, filling it with energy, and then breathing out, and letting the energy glow out into your body. And then we're gonna move up to your solar plexus, the place where your chest meets your abdomen. The color is now yellow. As you breathe in, fill that yellow ball with energy and light. And as you breathe out, feel it glow, pulsing with the same rhythm as your heartbeat. Pulsing with yellow light, glowing from your solar plexus. Breathing in, and breathing out. We're going to move our awareness up to our chest and the color is green. Feel it as a green ball or as green smoke humming with energy. Fill your lungs with the green energy and as you breathe out, feel it glow and pulse in your chest. This is the heart chakra. Relax and focus on the green energy in your chest. We're going to move that energy up now to the base of your throat. That little part where your bones meet your soft skin of your neck. The color is blue. Picture a blue ball pulsing with your heartbeat or spinning. And as you breathe in, breathe deep into your stomach, but feel the energy go into that blue ball. And as you breathe out, feel the energy pulsing through that blue ball, glowing with bluish light. Feel that energy filling with your breath. And then glowing as you breathe out. Next, we're going to move your awareness up through the neck, up into the jaw, up through the face. 
and let it stop at the point between your eyes, between and slightly above. This is the third eye. Focus on the purple ball of energy of your third eye. Relax everything else so that you can feel the purple ball at your third eye, humming with the energy as you breathe in and fill it with purple energy and as you breathe out. And this time as you breathe in, you want to feel like you're pulling purple energy through the third eye and into your body. Breathe as if you're pulling the energy into your body through the eye. And as you breathe out, you are glowing that purple energy right back out through the third eye. Breathe in, fill your body with purple energy. Breathe out and let the energy glow out through your third eye. And just focus on the pulsing of your heartbeat at that purple spot. And when you're ready, we're going to let that awareness move up to the crown of your head and just slightly above as if just touching the crown of your head there's a little ring and that ring is made out of blue, white, violet light very, very violet and white in intensity and as you breathe in filling your body with energy and as you breathe out feel that energy move up to that spot just above the top of your head feel that spot pulse with white violet energy focus on that and as you push more and more energy into that spot of violet light as you breathe out, now let the energy start to drip down your head, down your face, as if it's covering you with a protective layer of energy. Breathe in and send the energy up to the top of your head and breathe out and let that energy come down and wash over you. Breathe in and fill yourself with energy. Breathe out and let that energy wash over your body covering your body with energy. Focus on that spot above your head. And when you're ready, focus on pulling that energy back in through your skin so that every inch of your skin is filling with energy as you breathe in. And that energy at the crown of your head can pull back into the crown of your head that when you breathe in you are filling with energy and when you are breathing out you are pushing the awareness of your body to the skin of every part of you to the outside of your body and then relax we're going to rest here for just a moment just relax and focus back on the breathing being entirely aware of every part of your body, but not focusing on anything, just being aware. And if you need something to take your mind off of anything else, this is the part where people hum. Just a low, relaxed hum to give your brain something to take its focus away. Um. Relax. Bring yourself back into your body. When you're ready, when you're feeling back into your usual headspace, lift your hands up gently. Scoop them by your dantian as if you're picking up the energy like it's water and you're lifting them slowly up and washing that energy up over your face, over your head and letting it flow back down into your body. Let your eyes start to flicker open and close. Again, scoop your hands to the dantian and wash that energy up your body, over your head, and let the watt energy flow back into your body. Open your eyes a little wider. And for the last one, scoop that energy up, wash it up your body, hold your hands over your head, 
You make a few small circles. We usually do three counterclockwise over your head. Feel your body, feel the presence of your energy body. And then let your hands gently drop as all of that energy pushes back into your body. Bring yourself back in. Here we are again. Hello, how are you feeling? Hopefully you are feeling aware of every part of you, but full of relaxation as well. I think I'm feeling pretty good. How are you feeling, Matt? Matt's feeling relaxed. Thank you for joining us for episode one of Wheelchair Fu, Stretching and Meditation. Namaste. When you're ready, click on the next link for episode two, the workout portion, where we will get pumped up. Because mean Matt, who is getting pumped up? Loves getting pumped up. Main Matt loves getting pumped up. Uh.